So now I'd like to add on the final layer when it comes to this process for dealing more effectively with criticism. And this layer is something called future pacing. So what actually is future pacing? Well, put simply, this is where we imagine the future being different. It's where we take some kind of learning, some kind of insight, and then we start to project into the future and imagine using that learning in some kind of associated scenario. As human beings, we have the tremendous capability of being able to go back into the past, or we can stay in the present, or we can project off into the future and play through various different imagined scenarios. It's like we have our own imaginary time traveller inside our mind. Now, of course, we're not going back to the past. We're not really reliving things. We're just re-experiencing them through our memory system. And when we project into the future, we're not 100% accurately depicting what is going to happen in the future, but we're just creating scenarios just to help us bridge the gap from where we currently are to where we ideally want to be. Now, one of the things that I like to say is that often when we imagine something inside our mind's eye, then all of a sudden it becomes a choice to us. Often the thing that stops us from developing, from moving forward, from overcoming challenges, and ultimately becoming a more behaviourally flexible person, is that we struggle to imagine ourselves being different. So when we do imagine ourselves being different, then it opens up the potential for that to become a reality. And that's the principle that future pacing is based upon. The more that you can imagine inside your mind's eye, taking these learnings, these new insights, and then putting it into some kind of future scenario, then the greater the chance you will have of making that a reality. So think of this almost like as a bridge that you're creating from the changes and insights that you're making from the process to actually implementing them into your everyday life. So how does this actually work? Well, what you're looking to do is, first of all, you take yourself through the process. So as I described in the last few videos, you go back to a time when you were criticized, you see it through self, then you step into thirds, then you step into seconds, and then you go back into first, bringing all these new insights with you. By the time you've done that, you will have experienced an enriched version of this particular experience, this past scenario. You will have a deeper appreciation of the full story, so you'll be more resourceful. Now, there's a very good chance, too, that you've also gained insights into how you would like to behave differently as a result of these insights. And I think that's a key thing here. Once you've gone through the process, it's useful to write down just a quick description of how you would like to behave differently in the future based on the insights you've experienced from the full process. Behavioural change is really, really important. There's no point in going through one of these psychological imaginary processes if you don't then actually take the learnings and then put them into physical practice. So it's a really good idea just to sit back and write down just a quick description of how you would like to behave differently in a future scenario that could be similar, because we want to learn from our experiences. And at this stage as well, it's very useful to take the learning or potentially the positive intention that the person has for criticising you. And you can then use that to develop, use that to perhaps go in a different direction or slightly tweak or change your approach. So what you want to do is, once you go through the technique, once you've gained some new insights, some learnings, you've connected with potentially the positive intention of the person who's criticising you, and you've come up with a bit of a description in terms of how you would like to behave differently in the future, you then want to sit back, close your eyes, and then just simply project yourself inside your mind to some point in the future. And I know that sounds a little bit weird. If you've not done stuff like this before, then that concept might be a little bit alien to you. But it's very easy. You just imagine a scenario in the future that's related to this particular criticism. So say, for example, you did a presentation and your boss said, your presentation was shit. It was rubbish. And then he gave you a big list of stuff about what you did wrong. Clearly, that's very badly presented feedback. But by going through the different perceptual positions, you most likely gain access to what he was really attempting to get across. 
Maybe he wanted you to be more animated. Maybe he wanted you to be more engaged. Maybe he wanted to, you to use less PowerPoint and tell more stories or ask questions or something like that. Then you can take that learning, take that insight, and then you can imagine yourself in this future scenario, taking it on board and then actually putting it into practice. So you wanna take the learnings and then imagine yourself doing them. And there's something really cathartic about this because as a human being, we have this deeply held need to learn from our experiences. In fact, when we don't learn from our experiences or when we don't learn something that's useful, that's often when we remain feeling bad about something. Negative emotions are generally there as warning signs that something needs to change or there's some kind of learning that we've missed. So when we get the proper learning, the learning that really does make a difference to our life, then often that's when the negative emotions can just disappear. And this has huge relevance to criticism because when we actually look beyond the surface of the initial attack or perceived attack, grab the good stuff, put it into practice, all of a sudden that criticism can be seen in a very, very different light. All of a sudden it becomes a resource for us rather than a personal attack. And it's usually in that moment when you really get that sense that's when the negative feelings just suddenly disappear. So inside your mind, you want to flow off into the future and play through some kind of imagined scenario where you're using the new learnings, the new insights to become a better person, to become a more enriched individual. And one additional step you can add in here, and you'll notice I do this in the audio recording, is once you get a sense of how your life has benefited as a result of the criticism, you then want to look back to how you used to be. Now you could even go to the sense where, or go to the stage where you, inside your mind, thank the person who criticized you. So you could almost like walk back and then inside your mind, not it's gonna say you wanna do this in reality, but you could then just thank the person who criticized you because ultimately they've pushed you towards some kind of learning. And I know this sounds a bit weird, it sounds a bit esoteric and a bit kind of fluffy duffy, but honestly, this can be so cathartic. It can be the final piece that just allows us to let go of the stinging feelings of that criticism. So I thoroughly recommend that you add that stage in. In fact, you'll notice that I have added it into the audio recording. And then that's pretty much it. So the basic idea is you get the learnings, get the insights, decide on some new ways of behaving, tweak your behavior, imagine the future being different, and then look back from that place to how you used to be. So like I said, I've recorded this full process in audio format. So if you go to the additional resources, you can download that audio in full. You can listen to it just now if you like, or you can do it at your leisure. But you wanna pick a time when you were criticized and then use that as a basis for the entire experience. It has all the steps in it that I've been discussing over the last few videos, and I'm sure you'll find it a truly profound and powerful experience. It's a way of letting go of those negative emotions that sting us from criticism, but ultimately, and more importantly, it's about finding those hidden gems, the useful pieces of information that you can then incorporate into your ongoing development. So I hope you find that useful. Go ahead and download it just now. If you wanna to listen to it just now, go for it. If not, then do it at some point in the future. And once you've managed to do that, head over to the next video and we'll continue with the course.